Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny. In the last part, we made it here. We've made it through the ships after 30 minutes of speeding up. Or 14 for you, 30 for me. In this part, we are going to take on the leader of these ships. Uh, Batista! Philia? Who is this? He is a priest who used to work with me. I didn't think you would come after me. You should have remained as a statue. <laughs> okay, so she had a choice to remain as a statue, or she should... Whatever. Batista, where's Leiden? I'll tell you if you win this fight. Oh, really? You're the only one left. This is your last chance to surrender peacefully. Who do you think you are? You don't know the gravity of your own situation. Uh, okay. But yeah, we have our boss here. This is Batista. He can actually be really tough. Because, ow. He's got something called Claw Thrasher, which hits you like five times in a row. It's infuriatingly annoying. It hits you like five times in a row, and, oh, dang it, I keep forgetting that it's B for regular attacks. See what I mean? He's hitting like 150 every time. Ow, someone hit me with deep mist. Oh, wait, no, it's, it doesn't hit you like five, but he hits, he hits you a lot. Let's just say that, and he does pretty decent damage. And man, I'm already down pretty far. All right, uh, Rudy, I'm so unused to the controls again. I'm just jumping right into a boss fight. That's a bad idea, especially considering the games I've been playing up until now. Ah, jeez, I'm so confused, so confused. All right, and as you can see, I'm using Tiger Blade, which I got off screen apparently, or during the speed. No, no, please don't die. Please don't die, thank you. No, no, oh my crap. Rudy, uh, you're being so worthless. Okay, can we... Ah, oh, this guy's annoying. I hate this guy. And, of course, my commentary is just freaking bullcrap right now. Okay, can I please kill this caster? That would be amazing if I could. Thank you, Leon. Help me. There we go. Okay, I want to get over you. Oh, my crap. Get over him. Jeez. <laughs> it's like, get over him already. He broke up with you so long ago. Okay. Anyway, freaking die. All right. Now we're in the kind of the clear. Mary, uh, go ahead and heal Rudy. Stop. Okay. Stop stunning Leon, too. Okay. And Rudy also. What? Uh, let's use a spectacles. First use of a, a, first use of a spectacles. They basically let you see what stats enemies have. Okay, we got this. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, Leon, use a life bottle because you are being absolutely freaking worthless right now. Okay, maybe not absolutely, but you know what I mean. He's not doing anything. Um, hello? Thank you. Jesus, fight annoys me. Uh, this is where the whole thing with your uh, teammates doing nothing, it really comes back to bite you right here in these big boss fights because it it's basically just boils down to you wailing on the boss constantly. And finally, I got, I'm used to the controls again. Kind of, sort of, okay. There we go. Now, hey, how about doing something? Mary, use freaking double blade. Oh, fine, just run away then. Oh yeah, finally. Ugh. Thank you, yes, it is our vic victory, Stan. Oh, that's a really aggravating fight. But oh well, you just gotta be patient. He just takes for freaking ever. Damn it! Now tell us where Leiden is. Leiden? Who? I don't have a clue. Hey, you said you'd tell us. What? You promised you would tell us. You are so naive. Promises are made to be broken. Wah wah. I know how to deal with scum like you. I have my methods. I'll interrogate you thoroughly when we get back to shore. You've been forewarned. Ha! Don't threaten me, you little punk. You'll be sorry for your lack of respect. Yeah, yeah. Leon thinking he's cool again when he's not. Ugh. Anyway, oh man, that that boss fight just gets to me. That was actually the uh, the first fight in this game, this particular game, that I had lost. And it was really, really annoying. So I, I have... I don't, I don't like that fight. Leon! Yeah, yeah, we're back. Meet the leader of the pirates. All of you have done well. I don't know how to thank you. Well, you could pay us. It's no big deal. Eileen, we have to use one of your rooms. 
That's fine, but what for? Torture? I mean, interrogating. Uh, I need to, him to give us some information. <laughs> I'll go ahead to Eileen's house. Don't waste your time sightseeing. Come straight to her house. Okay, okay. Hey, walk straight. Okay, alright. No one likes Leon. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, sure. Alright, we can finally move again, and I really would love to get some items. Um, okay. I think that maybe possibly you can go sightseeing if you want, but, you know, oh, you can't. Well, frick, what's the po- uh. So, you give us the option to walk around the harbor, and then as soon as we come in here, we instantly get teleported in here. Why don't we all just walk with Leon to the interrogation? It just, whatever. Oh, well, maybe they give you a save point. Anyway, you're wasting your time. I don't know anything. We'll find out soon enough if you really don't know a thing. Mary, come here. What is it, Leon? Don't move. Are you taking this pretty tiara off me, Leon? Hey, why are you taking Mary's off? Take mine off, too. One is enough. Besides, I don't trust you enough to behave on your own. Man, screw you! What? I've been a good girl. I haven't done anything bad. You're interfering with my interrogation. Go sightseeing or something. You just tell us not to go sightseeing! Ugh. Why, you snot-nosed brat! Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Alright, shocked. <laughs> what is this, salsa again? Salsa and facade? Yeah, damn it, shut up. What did you put on my head? The same thing that stupid woman has. What's his problem? I can't take this anymore! Hey, where are you going? I'll be sleeping in my room. Wake me up if Batista says anything. Hey, Mary, you come too. Okay. Hey. Oh, pff, fine. What are you gonna do, Stan? Well, I don't know. Are you free, Stan? What? Well, now that you mention it, sort of. Would you like to go out on a date with me? On a d d d date with you? Er. Haha, <laughs> look at you. You're blushing. You're so cute. I was just kidding. W what? I was kidding about the date part, but I'll give you a tour of the town. Or do you? Or you don't want to go out with an older woman? Oh, oh, that's that's not it. Sure, yeah, I'll take you up on your offer. <laughs> okay, then let's go. Do you want to come with us, Felia? No, I'll stay here. I'm worried about something, and I can't get it out of my mind right now. Yeah, yeah. All right, then try to get some rest, and don't worry about things that are beyond your control. Okay, that's a random thing to say. Okay, Felia, I'll see you later. Yes, okay, we're leaving. Jeez, how long are these farewells? Going out with that older woman, I can't stand it. <laughs> hey, Mary, we're going to follow them. Oh, this is hilarious. Rudy, aren't you going to sleep? No, just shut up and follow me. Okay, Rudy, don't get so upset. This is hilarious. I love this part. Okay. Oh, and I think we get, like, nothing but dialogue for this whole video, too. Okay. Stan, where are you from? I'm from a village in, called Leonea in Fitzgald. So you're from here. I thought you were from another country since you were with Leon. But Leonea is a, con a country village, and I've never been to a city like this. Oh, is this your first time? Is your first visit to Nuisat? Yes, it is. Oh, good. I can show you around then. Shall we go? I love this. They're, they're stalking you the whole time. It's just awesome. Freaking Rudy. <laughs> what? They're hiding behind nothing. They're hiding in the... Like, look. You see how they're hiding behind... Well, quote-unquote hiding behind that little thing there? From... Uh, Eileen's point of view, they're just standing next to it. <laughs> anyway. This is newest at Central Park. These cherry blossoms are at full bloom right now. <laughs> and they just run straight up there. Those cherry trees were also in full blossom when I came here. So you're not from Fitzgald? And we'll get Mary. No, I used to live in St. Egald with my father. Are you disappointed? No, I didn't mean that. I, I love this town now, but I really hated it when I first came here. Why? When I felt bad, I came to this park and spent a lot of time looking at these cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms are the same in St. Egald or in Neustadt, or anywhere else. And that's when I realized that I was letting silly things bother me. I realized that living in another country doesn't really matter. That's when I knew I could face anything. I see. 
Shall we walk by the ocean? Sure. Do I have a choice? No? Didn't think so. I just love watching Rudy run. Whoa, dude, that, that you went the wrong way there. Oh boy, you're gonna get caught. Where are, where'd she go? Oh, she disappeared. Oh, there she is. I think the ocean view from here is the best you, view you can get in Neustadt. You can see the islands in the distance on a clear day. The waves are a little high today, though. It looks like you could swim here if it was a little warmer. <sighs> is something wrong? I can't swim. And that would, yeah, that was probably the gayest sigh I've ever done, but whatever. Anyway, you can't swim? No, but it's okay because I don't like to get my hair wet. Besides, I've been so busy dealing with other things in my life that I never got around to learning how. Oh, that's too bad. It really feels great to swim in a pond or a pool. Oh yeah, I can teach you how to swim if you want. <laughs> and look, Rudy's getting pissed off. Okay, I'll think about your offer. Shall we go? Man, you just barely missed getting detected there. Like Splinter Cell, you just barely ra avoided raising an alarm. They're tourists. Okay. Thank you. A long time ago, Fitzgald was once a wasteland that no one dared to inhabit. However, Sandigald Kingdom's public works initiative to exploit natural resources in this area brought the prosperity that you see before you today. Okay. This cult certainly was reborn as a prosperous country, but this country lost something important along the way. I wonder if you can place a price on, what's on what was lost. What? I'm sorry, I, I guess I'm tired from too much work. Are you alright? Stan, you're so sweet. I, I'm just worried about you. Thank you, I'm fine, don't worry. Oh yeah, Stan, shall we go get some softy creams? Oh yeah, softy cream. What? You don't like them? That's not what I mean, I've never had one. Okay, then let's get some, new experiences are important. And again, she's hiding in plain sight. Oh, today Mary's already there. <laughs> I mean, not Merity, Mary. Oh wait, did I say Merity? I think I said Mary, or Mary, I don't know. Anyway, Stan, they sell cool treats here. Sounds fantastic. You know, it's so refreshing to be with someone who's so good and honest like you, Stan. Good and honest? Oh, come on, that's a joke, right? No, I think you really are, and humble too. Two softy creams, please. All right, yeah, softy creams, sure, it'll be 100 gold. Jeez, 100 bucks for two ice cream cones. Man, we thought the American economy was bad. Okay, anyway, hey, I'll pay half. No, don't worry, I'm the one who asked you to go out on a date with me. Oh, but, Stan, y yeah? There are times when you should let a woman take care of you, okay? Y yes, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, Rudy's mad about that. <laughs> I'm glad you understand. Here, try it. Thanks. If your softy cream has some letters on the stick, you can win. Like this? Oh, Stan, you won! Really? Cool! Take it to the softy cream vendor and they'll give you another one. Oh, that's awesome, but I don't want one right now. There's no expiration date, so you can get one anytime you like. Let's see, shall we go to the arena? Ooh, the arena! Up, oh, no, Mary. <laughs> Mary's awesome. Did she steal it from her? Did Rudy steal her softy cream? Come on, Rudy. And, okay, here's the worst one, right here. Look, they're hiding on the bridge. All they have to do is look up. It's right above them. Ugh. Two tickets, please. Okay, that'll be 200 gold. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, let's go in. Yes. Uh, can we be done now? <laughs> Did they just run in without getting tickets? This is taking forever. Welcome, ticket taker. Welcome to the newest at arena where the strength and will of real men are put to the ultimate test. Please present your tickets. Thank you. Enjoy. I love those guys. are kind of... It's just... You know, you, you get like the strong bouncer guys. He's just pretty funny. Anyway. We're inside the arena now. No. Really? Shall we go over to the spectator seats? No. I thought we... No. I just want to stay in the lobby. I don't want to go watch. I don't want to pay 200 gold to go watch something. I just want to sit around and do nothing. Oh, well. Isn't that technically what video games are? Oh, bam. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I'd be able to burn video games, but okay then. Give me a worthy challenger! And that's Kang, apparently. That's the champion, Bruiser Kang. 
partner. Ugh. Oh, wait, no. Wait, what? Okay, well, whatever. That's the champion, Bruiser Kang. He's a monster who doesn't know the word lose. He hasn't lost in years. He sure looks tough. I'll show you the waiting room. Follow me. Okay, so wait, we went in there to watch one punch, and then we just go right back to the lobby? We were already in the lobby! Ugh. What are we doing? This is taking too long. Oh, well, I'd like to get all this out of here. Like, out of the way. Oh, okay, we're not... Oh, wait, we are going to the lobby. Ugh. Oh, it's the challenger's waiting room. Okay, this is the waiting room. The arena field is right outside if you go through that exit. Shall we take a look? Well, we're just going out into the arena? I didn't know you could just do this. Okay, this is just like regular people walking onto a freaking football field in the middle of a game. Hey, we have a surprise contestant. The next challenger is a woman. It looks like the challenger is Miss Eileen of the Rembrandt family. Unfortunately, I'll pass. Hey, babe, come on now. We're just visiting today. Hey, you with the pointy head in the back, do you want to fight? Uh, no. Pointy head? I see, the real challenger is Miss Eileen's friend. Stan, don't listen to them. What's the matter with you, little boy, hiding behind a woman's back? How can you call yourself a real man? Wh what did you say? Stan! First of all, I don't like the fact that a woman entered our holy arena. It's not holy. What did you say, you pig? What's going on? It looks like they're arguing. Ooh, I'm so scared. Hysterical woman, don't turn me on. Wow. Okay. <laughs> anyway, anyone who's not willing to fight is trash. Trash should be thrown out of here into the dumpster. Goodbye, pointy head. You're a sissy. Oh, really? How dare you say those things to our faces? Okay. Can we please, please, please... Please be done with this. I'll let you be my girlfriend. Wah ha ha ha. Oh, I've had enough of you. I'll take you on. All right, Sand, don't you'll get hurt. He said things he shouldn't have. I can't tolerate trash talking scumbags like this. Hey, what did you call me, scumbag? Who's the scumbag? Uh, you. Well, now let's take a look around. Now I see one right here, and he's these baldies standing in front of me. B baldy? And I love that. You get a little sparkle on his head. That's hilarious. Not gonna let this bozo beat me. Uh, okay, we get it. We're gonna fight. Okay. I don't thank you. God! This game with its text. Ugh, so much. Okay, Kang. Hi there, Baldy. Ow! Hitting like 300s, and I'm hitting like 19s for 10s. You can't win! Oh, he did win. Man, he, he combo breakered me, man. Screw you, bruiser. Oh, can we be done? Stan, yes, yes. He punched me. The winner's bruiser. Never would have guessed. Pointy head lost. Okay, ooh. Ooh, where am I? You want to gain consciousness? Oh, yeah, I was at the arena. Oh, my God. No, I don't want to say anything to him because he punched my face. Well, um, I'm terribly sorry about what happened. What? You're a promising young man. I'm certain there will come a time when we will fight again. But when that time comes, I'll beat you to a bloody pulp. Mark my words. Okay, uh, get out of my way. What the freak? What was that about? I guess it's his peculiar way of expressing his friendship to you. Shall we get going? Ugh, oh, we're not done yet. And I know, I know, this whole time I've just been whining and complaining. Okay. You were trying to protect me, thank you. Well, er, not really. You made me very happy. I just couldn't forgive the things he said. I blah 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 blah. <sighs> yes, it's character development, I get it. I'm sorry. Hey, where's Rudy? Didn't they run in here? Huh. I guess they just kinda disappeared. Unless they were like in the crowd and I didn't notice them. Oh well. Man, we got like freaking twelve minutes of Walking around a city talking about nothing <laughs> and getting our freaking butts kicked in the arena. Okay. Where are we going? Are we going back to the house? Yay, we are. Man, worst date ever. Not even getting to first base. Okay. I had a fun day today. I hope you'll ask me out again next time. What? Come on, let's go home. Uh, we're, this isn't our home. This is your home. Welcome back, Stan. Ophelia, how's it going? Do we have any information yet? No, nothing yet. Well, geez, the guy is pretty tough. Grrr! Do you... <laughs> well, that was the most lackluster scream ever, but you know what? I just don't freaking care. 
All right, do you feel like talking now? We want information. I, I don't know. Ugh. Oh, spare us your heroics. All we want is information. By hook or crook, we'll get it. How am I supposed to tell you things that I don't know about? Ugh. Information. We want information. You'll die soon if you don't tell me. I don't know a thing. Haha. Ha -ha. Stupid. Tough not to crack that one. Leon! Don't mind the mess. He just passed out. He still has some value to me, so I'm not about to kill him quite yet. But this is... This is it for today, at least. But I don't think it will give us inf any information if we, even if I continue with the interrogation. Okay, so... Let's go, Felia. Felia? What? Oh, yes. Alright, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, what a shocking development! Oh, sorry. Oh, flashback. Felia, what are you doing around here this, at this late hour? Oh, Batista, I needed to research something. Like, research something for the Archbishop? Yes, sort of. Sort of? All the secret cloak and dagger nonsense is the reason why you get stressed out and get sick. But this has to be done by tomorrow. I really have no choice. All right, you're hopeless by yourself, so I'll help you. Batista, you're so kind. Ha, <laughs> knock it off. I'm not kind. Go on and do your research. Yes, all right. Damn it, that kid is merciless. Ugh, will you look at this? My good looks are ruined by what? A sh by shock therapy? I'll take this damn thing off my head. Gah! Ha <laughs> ha, stupid. <laughs> How cute. I get an electric shock if I try to take the damn thing off. That low life. Hmm? Hey, you forgot to lock this. Wow. Leon, you are incredibly incompetent. You should kill them. Oh, man, we are 22 minutes into this freaking video. Oh, my crap. You know what? I'm ending it off. This is way too long. Okay, anyway, next time we will find out what happens today because I'm done. This is seriously ending now. So, next time we'll do more stuff. Hopefully not going on any hour-long dates. So, see you later.